My family, we don't have really any traditions. I wouldn't say that we even have a legacy yet, you know, and that, that's tough. But I understand as a trailblazer, I have to create that. And if I don't create it, then when is it going to happen? My name is Nate Evans Jr. I'm a husband, a professional speaker, youth mentor, podcast host, mental health advocate. My first book was kind of rough, I'll be honest. I went through that entire process, I still put it out. And I watched the impact of it with all its imperfections. And from there, more people wanted me to come share my story, this time as a speaker. Wherever I can get in and share my story of resilience, of building that mental wellness, I would get in and do it. And things kind of blossomed and grew from there to where they are today. For a business to have longevity, I, I truly believe that it doesn't mean that the business lasts a long time. Like you just have this business operating a long time, but I believe that that business needs to make an impact over a long period of time, right? I believe that it, it needs to impact its customers, its clients, right? Over a long stretch of time. That's what I really believe when it comes to longevity. For any type of business owner that's looking to really grow something and build it, out of just being a hobby or, or a side gig or a side job, you have to reflect. You have to reflect because that's the only way that you can actually assess. And it's, it reminds me of, say if you're trying to lose weight, you know, you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to get your body right. At some point you gotta jump on a scale to assess from where you are, you know, to where you started. And then you have to have a plan to go where you're trying to go to. You have to be very intentional. And that's all reflection is, is just being intentional about the growth that you wanna have. you know, 30, 35 years from now, generational longevity for me at that point, it looks like just pure joy and it looks like healing and it looks like my family living the life that we should be living on our terms, but doing such in a way 